We have a UDEC meeting here at the World Forum for Democracy in Strasbourg and we, uh, you can now talk about what your hopes are for after the conference for democratic education. Yeah. So, who wants to start? We're here, we're actually already convinced about something, which is that you can't learn human rights and democracy just by being taught the theory of it. Of it. I mean, it has to be in some kind of daily practice somewhere, and why not schools, because this is where you learn things. Um, and I think during the forum, even those who weren't so clear about this message now got it, I think, fully right, and a big majority of people have this message in mind now, and I think the 20% was quite a good uh, hit. And my hope for the future is that um, there we will see more, uh, more of this message getting more and more mainstream because I really believe in the bottom-up. Of course, we're going to continue all the bottom-up action we're doing. But when there's a message that's starting to spread more in the top, more in Council of Europe and maybe you know European Union, maybe more politicians talking about this and and saying like, oh yeah, it's obvious. I mean, schools should be more democratic. And if democratic schools, these two words are combined together in more sentences, I think it has a lot of impact. I mean, I really believe in the power of words and communication and thoughts and ideas being shared. And when they're being publicly shared in front of a, lot of, a, a large audience, I mean, it has impact then on the reality. So that's my hope. Great. Peter? Um, now I agree with Jakob. I think there, uh, if you look at the forum and all the discussions, uh, a lot of people are very concerned about how democracy works and human rights. Uh, and I see everybody struggling with, with, with solutions. People don't know solutions. I think that's a really great opportunity. Uh, because democratic education might not be the solution, but I think it's a very valuable solution. And I think uh, if you look at the tweets and the messages and all the discussions, the words democratic education starts floating around everywhere. Uh, I think that's really great. There were many young people also like complaining about state school systems and now they have heard about democratic schools and I d think they were really interested in that and um, yeah I think yeah I mean many people haven't, he haven't heard of democratic schools and now I think they heard of it and it was really nice that in really many different labs the democratic schools were mentioned and yeah. With like the whole like the democratic education idea like for the first time I felt really listened to and really kind of like for a lot of people I felt like well that's really an idea to try and that's what I haven't experienced so far. What I found really great about this meeting was that um, I could talk to so many people and they wouldn't say, oh, no, that won't work. They say, oh, that's interesting. They were interested. They were listening. So I feel like in this meeting at this World Forum for Democracy, there's a great sense of wanting to know what other people are doing and wanting to be inspired by it and wanting to learn from other people, from each other. So. Um, I hope that we get more of that in the future. I feel two, two points very strongly. We've established that the current education systems, I think we have agreement here, are not developing democracy and human rights through the school systems as they exist, that societies all across Europe are in crisis, that this education is very important, the current system is not delivering it. That has provided us with an opportunity which I think we've presented well, that there exists an alternative network of schools in Europe and worldwide that has something to say to the problem of the failure of the public school systems. Many people from many parts of the world come together and these people are interested in about education. So we can attract the, the let's say, interest about uh, democratic education. So many people from the many parts of the world bring the idea of democratic education to their country. That is a very good point. So another good point is that, uh, so 20% idea is a very good idea. So we can uh, propose this idea to uh, e each area. So we can propose it at APDEC, so you can do it at UDEC and maybe at IDEC in uh, April. So that's very good. I'd like to propose that um, 
we do tomorrow um, meeting um, in front of the um, poster down there and um, videotape um, um, a speech for the cultural minister in Bavaria and maybe we prepare that tonight by the dinner and talk about it and who's gonna say something and what we gonna say. So I'm very optimistic after the um, the lab we had uh, just now, the, um, the one about control and freedom and, and education systems. Mostly because I felt really part of a team during that lab, uh, that there were people talking about something and we were as a team working to get them to talk about those things that we find interesting and necessary to be said. And in general, how I as I think of it, uh, it's uh, that uh, we're a very small group of people, I know, about 20 of us, coming to a forum of 2,000 people and we're having so much impact on what is being said and, uh, and discussed during this forum. I really believe that this is the example of a small <laughs> determined group that is trying to change the world and is going to do so because we are that efficient and I got this feeling during this lab and uh, I'm really optimistic about it. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Yeah, I kind of want to say the same thing as Mikhail said. Um, I think I really like the way we appeared at this conference, and I think, like as you said, we have such a huge impact, but we are just uh, a group of 20 people. Um, yeah, and I think that like in every part of this conference, uh, which I attended, someone spoke about democratic education. So it's like, I mean, it makes sense because it is connected to um, the matters of democracy and equality. And I mean, that's the theme of the conference, so it makes very much sense. Um, and also, we, I think the people we met here, and uh, they're the perfect clients to talk about democrat democratic education with them. And they were so interested, and I think we convinced them just through telling them stories about uh, our um, our own school experience and I think that is so valuable and so so powerful that you just tell of your own experience and the people really get the sense of it.